Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's presentation on a critical medical condition affecting neonates, chloride losing diarrhea. Over the next few minutes, we will delve into the intricacies of this condition, including its causes, clinical presentation, diagnosis, treatment approaches, and the challenges it poses in neonatal care. Chloride losing diarrhea, a rare but severe disorder, primarily affects neonates. It involves excessive loss of chloride and sodium through the intestinal tract, leading to life-threatening electrolyte imbalances and dehydration. This condition often results from genetic mutations that impair the transport of chloride and sodium in the intestines. Mutations in genes like SLC26A3, DRA, and CFTR, cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator, disrupt the absorption of these crucial ions, causing them to be lost in the stool. Chloride-losing diarrhea manifests with severe, watery diarrhea shortly after birth. Neonates may experience failure to thrive, dehydration, electrolyte imbalances, metabolic acidosis, and muscle weakness due to the loss of vital electrolytes. Diagnosing chloride-losing diarrhea requires clinical suspicion and thorough diagnostic evaluations. Stool electrolyte measurements, genetic testing, and specialized imaging techniques like sweat tests are often employed. Differential diagnoses include other causes of neonatal diarrhea such as infections, milk protein intolerance, and congenital gastrointestinal disorders. Managing chloride-losing diarrhea involves a multifaceted approach. Fluid and electrolyte replacement. Intravenous fluids are crucial to correct the electrolyte imbalances and dehydration. Careful monitoring is essential to avoid overhydration. Nutritional support. A specialized formula with low chloride content may be recommended. Balancing electrolytes and nutrients is vital for a neonate's growth. Genetic counseling. Given the genetic basis of the condition, families benefit from genetic counseling to understand inheritance patterns and risks for future pregnancies. Possible surgical interventions. In some cases, surgical interventions might be considered to mitigate the severity of symptoms and enhance nutrient absorption. Chloride-losing diarrhea presents significant challenges due to its complex nature and the critical period of neonatal development. Managing electrolyte imbalances, ensuring proper nutrition, and preventing complications demand a comprehensive and interdisciplinary approach. Ongoing research is shedding light on the genetic mechanisms underlying chloride-losing diarrhea. Understanding these mechanisms holds promise for developing targeted therapies, potentially improving the quality of life for affected neonates. Chloride-losing diarrhea, though rare, can have profound implications for neonatal health. Through early recognition, prompt intervention, and collaboration among healthcare professionals, researchers, and families, we can work towards better outcomes for affected neonates. Thank you for your attention. Let's open the floor to questions and discussions about chloride-losing diarrhea in neonates and the strategies to address this challenging condition in comment or visit bizarrebiblio.com.